Excuse me. Good afternoon. Magana Hapon San Yung Lahat. I want to first thank NAFA and all the community partners here for inviting me to come speak and for preparing and organizing this great event. And I want to talk a little bit about kind of my journey into this, my journey into um, really supporting my culture and my heritage, and where do we go from here moving forward as a political body, both uh, here locally, statewide, and federally. When I was young, I did not grow up traditionally in a Filipino household. Uh, my parents divorced, I lived with my mom growing up, and really didn't have an opportunity to spend as much time really embracing and learning my culture as I would like to have had. But following college and getting into my career, uh, meeting my beautiful wife now, I really started asking a lot of questions about who I am, where I come from, and what I can do to support the culture that my family embraced and brought forward to San Diego from the Philippines. And six years ago, I had the opportunity to first visit the Philippines uh, for the first time, and it was an amazing experience. And from then on, it really feed into my heart what it, what it means to be Filipino, what it means in terms of the spirit of Bayanihan and really supporting all of us as a community moving forward. And I will say sometimes it gets tricky trying to balance supporting your culture, supporting your community, and the politics that happens uh, here locally. It becomes very difficult. But there are opportunities for us to really remove the partisanship and really do things that support our community. And I'll give you a couple examples. The first happened in 2011. In 2011, we went through a redistricting process in the city of San Diego. And 10 years prior to that, there was a huge effort to have an API influence district in the city of San Diego. And unfortunately, that didn't occur. But prior to the process in 2011, a number of organizations within the API community really came together and did their part to showcase the need to have an API influence district in the city of San Diego. And I'm proud to represent that district. In the sixth council district, 35% of residents in that community, in those communities, are of Asian Pacific Islander descent, the largest concentration in the city of San Diego. And I say that understanding that we are on the precipice of starting that process all over again. And so when you talk about being engaged and involved in efforts in our community, that's an easy step, remove the partisanship, and really focus on supporting our API communities to make sure we can build upon the successes that we had back in 2011. And the second issue where I think you can remove that partisanship is really supporting those local issues within your own neighborhoods. Two weeks ago, we got to break ground on the Bay Terrace's Senior Center right here in District 4. <laughs> Although I don't represent that district, I got to witness firsthand a community being led by Cynthia come together, find their voice, advocate, and really go after what has been promised for, to them for 30 years. And it was proud to be able to support those efforts we removed any type of partisanship and really focused on the community and what we can do to support our communities here locally, especially our Phil Am seniors here in San Diego. And so my hope is that as we move forward into what will be the silly season going into the 2020 election cycle, is that even though we may have partisan differences, we may have different backgrounds, different philosophies, that we can look past that and really come together and support our communities. Um, we have a perfect example of that in some member Todd Gloria, who is running for mayor in the city of San Diego, a Phil Am, someone who I've known for a long time. I may not agree with him on a number of different policy issues, <laughs> but that's okay. I know in his heart he's true about San Diego. He's true to support our API community and our Phil Am communities, and my hope is that uh, if he is elected to be our next mayor, that, that's something we can work past our partnerships and work together to really do things that support our community. So with that, thank you so much for putting this event forward. I look forward to seeing you all out in the trenches advocating on behalf of your communities. Thank you very much.